There's a second reason. We arise and build for a legacy with inheritance. We want a legacy with inheritance. We want to leave a good inheritance for our children, our children's children, for generation and generation after us. See, the first time the word worship, everybody say worship. The first time the word worship appears, Abraham was giving his best sacrifice. His firstborn son, Isaac, put it on the altar as a worship unto the Lord. He did that on Mount Moriah. Moriah means vision. He had a vision. He went there to worship God, dedicated it on Mount Moriah. Generations later, at the same spot, King David came along and God said, I want you to worship. He said, I can't offer to God anything that costs me nothing. When he said that, he was standing on the exact spot. He said, I'll buy this land. This is where my forefathers, Abraham, worship. I'm going to buy this land. I'm going to worship God. And he told his son Solomon, on this same place, build a temple. Build a temple. And so they had a temple in the place. Hundreds of years later, Jesus Christ went right in the same spot where David worshipped, where Abraham worshipped. And let me tell you, when Jesus Christ comes back, we will worship God in exactly the same place. In fact, it will be the center of the new Jerusalem. When they gave thousands of years ago, it had contemporary, future, and eternal impact. When we do our best as we give today, tonight, it also has a present future, and eternal impact. Why won't we be satisfied with our Jurong West Church campus? I mean, it's a great building. It was a miracle building, still is. Our Jurong West building is in a wonderful neighborhood, Street 91 in, in, in Jurong. It's a wonderful place. Many of us grew up there. Many of, many of you met your spouse and had your families there, got married in the place. You know, Jurong Building is a great place and we can use it for 30 years and possibly further apply for use after the 30 years lease has expired and that will happen in 15 years' time, in less than 15 years. Why are we here at Suntech Convention Center? Of course, practically, we are here because of the size, because of the location of the facilities. The size is great. We could have thousands of people in one service. The location is amazing. I mean, it's the most central place you could possibly have for a worship premises anywhere in Singapore. Facility-wise, we have so many halls. And if we have a convention again, we are able to use the, the seminar halls the, that is on, the, on the, the other floors down below. Everything we have here is much, much more conducive to help us in our spiritual growth, in our spiritual ministry. But there's another reason. To the best of my abilities, I have served this church as your senior pastor for the last 25 years. God willing, if I'm active, if I'm healthy and I'm strong, and God permits, I'm going to be your senior pastor to the max another 20, 25 years. By that time, I would have served you almost 45 to 50 years. By that time, there's going to be another senior pastor. And he's going to have a younger team to lead the church. I know it has been a most challenging season getting a stake in Suntec. Ever since we made the announcement to come to this place, we have not yet had a season of rest. <laughs> but it's the right thing to do. In fact... Can I suggest to you tonight, it's the only responsible thing to do for the founding generations, for the pioneers. So that we are able to secure our future for our children and our children's children for generations to come.